Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa, and welcome. This is your Workers' Prayer, Monday to Friday, holding a glass of water, believing that when we pray, God is going to answer us. Those of you watching us this morning, and you are desperate, your life is really awkward, it's, it's overwhelmed by problems. Don't despair. God is alive. We're going to show it to you. He is alive and He has the power to transform your situation. I grew up without the love of my mom and my father was not around. They, she, my mother never got married to my father. As early as 11 years old, I started attending boarding schools until I finished my high school. I started to engage myself with the wrong crew. So I dated uh, a, a certain guy who was seven years older than me. Unfortunately, first time I, got, I, got, I fell pregnant and the father of my child told me that it's over between us. He cannot continue. We cannot continue together because he, has, he had found someone better to marry. So I was left alone at the age of 19, depressed. I developed suicidal thoughts. I wanted to kill myself because I thought it was over with my life. When I gave birth, because I saw that, I thought maybe it's over with my life. There's nothing that is left for me. So that led to, I, 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 was, think, I was thinking every day to kill myself. I wanted to, but I didn't have much courage to do it. Uh, what kept me going is because I had a child. So I didn't have courage to kill the child also. I wanted to kill myself, but I thought if I, could, if I kill myself, then who am I going to leave this baby with? Because of falling pregnant and dropping out of school, I saw my dreams fading away because I thought it was over with me. There's no more hope for me. I actually lost my faith in God because I was angry at God for allowing me to grow up in a, in, in a destroyed family like mine. My mother invited me to the church. When I came to the church, I, 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 I attended Goglude uh, meetings and at, uh, attended self-awareness courses and there I learned to forgive myself. Those people that I resented, especially my mother, I was able to forgive her. Today we have a, a good relationship. I'm no longer rebellious like before. I was able also to forgive my the father of my child and I was able to forgive myself for the past mistake that I did. Today I'm, I'm free from depression. I'm no longer suicidal. I don't have suicidal thoughts. I'm a happy individual. Today I'm doing my final year in business administration. I'm so happy. I wish that every individual could face, undergo this happiness that I'm having now. After suffering a great disappointment, Tulelene thought, okay, that's it, better I kill myself. But instead, she found in God a way out. I believe you can also find the same way out. Get a glass of water. We are going to pray together. And I believe in this very moment, the same God who blessed the life of Tuleleni is going to bless you. He's going to open doors for your life to change. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray for this glass of water and I pray for those who are suffering, perhaps suffering on account of a great disappointment. When they drink from this glass of water, Father, touch them. Give them inner peace. Help them to overcome. Help them to conquer the problems they are facing because I believe you are here with us. In Jesus' name, answer them. Amen. Don't forget what I said to you. This is your week. You are going to make it. Don't let any situation, any problem, any pressure, anyone whatsoever, anything, nothing to stop you from believing that your life is going to change. That's it for today. May God bless all of you and until tomorrow with one more Workers' Prayer. Bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.